Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I am Juju, and this is going to be Scorpio Bonus 2.0. Okay, so this can be in any area of your life. Um, family, career, finances, uh, love, obviously. Um, it's not really geared towards any one area. Um, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. If it's not your story, please do not try to make it fit. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome to watch. I just ask you, please be respectful of the zodiac sign that this reading is intended for. Um, these readings are not meant to be medical, psychological, relationship, financial, legal, career, or uh, love advice. Any and all decisions or lack thereof that you make based on this reading, you are solely responsible for. Okay. Um, Scorpio and Crosswatcher, you might have to, you know, swap the roles, place yourself where where it fits. If it doesn't, then it's not your not your story this time, okay? Um, the reason why you're getting a 2.0 is because the other one was literally half asleep. So, I want to make sure that you guys get a better reading. Or at least, well, I can't, you know, depict or, or decide what the messages are going to be. Nevertheless, I just want you guys to have a good, you know, a good reading for me. So, you could have Scorpio in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, um, Mars, Mercury as well okay so let's see so scorpio you could be experiencing this or um crosswater you could be experiencing this or this could even be somebody around you all right spirit show me scorpio please show me scorpio this is gonna be timeless show me scorpio got the ring in reverse and the fact of life, birds and the bees, okay. Okay, anything else please for Scorpio? This, you got, this could be good. We have separation in reverse. Okay. Show me the ring reverse. Seek higher power. Fact of life. So we have, what does that say? Requires stillness, but it's in reverse, so taking action. And then cutting ties in reverse. Okay. Show me this could be good. Okay. Fork in the road in reverse. And twist of fate. Pop goes the cork reverse. Okay. Show me separation in reverse. Lucky. Okay, anything else please for Scorpio? And then, okay, we got ring twice in reverse. All right. What's going on? Also, you have a messenger or good news in reverse. So, wild card and then what does it say it says a dearest wishes come true in reverse so with this being the bottom of the deck there's some type of craziness or there is a lack of communication that's creating this instability or this wildness or chaos rather um and it's not necessarily wishes coming true or someone isn't communicating their, their actual wishes that they want. But with the ring here, beginning for the first card and last card. So it feels like, okay, if you're not already in a higher committed relationship or heading that way, I don't feel like it's going to. Although I feel like there are talks about that. Now, if you are in a committed relationship, because this looks like a relationship to me. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to have a follow through here because there's a lot of things missing. There's no communication here. There's no action in the bedroom. Also, someone might be having action elsewhere and they haven't cut ties with behaviors or people from their past or that they've previously been with. Someone just wants to have a good time. 
uh, or, is, or is having a good time elsewhere. Um, they're not really making a decision either. And there is a twist of fate. Someone's juggling. Um, rolling the dice as well. There's not going to be any celebration because someone is, it feels like someone is doing this type of stuff with other people and not you or cross watcher. The Scorpio isn't doing this stuff with you. Somebody here isn't having intimacy. Someone's getting action somewhere else. Someone hasn't stopped a behavior that they said that they would. There's a behavior that hasn't stopped. And then here with separation reverse. Someone also feels that they're lucky because they can continue to do this kind of stuff and you won't leave them even though they're not really being committed towards you. There's two cards of no commitment. So let's see why this is here. Why is the ring here in reverse? Show me the ring reverse. Why is this here? King of Cups. So this is you, Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with another water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or another Scorpio. You're very stoic. You're very you're you're stepping into being more self controlled, um, and having you know. You have a lot of depth of emotion, and you feel very intensely. And because you feel so deeply and so intensely, you it's hard to put it into words exactly how you feel all the time. So it can come off as you are distant or cold or detached. It's, are very, very stoic, which you are. It's, it's just that you don't, the words are not, there also needs to be communication about this. You do feel a lot and you do feel deeply and you do have the capability to feel great love and anger. However, um, there's something here, either you're not offering commitment or you're not getting the commitment that you want. Anything else about this ring reverse, please? Yeah, queen of pentacles here. You could be dealing with, We'll go over the signs, but you could be dealing with a, um, a Taurus, possibly, or Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, you want stability. I feel like this is you. I feel like you want to have emotional stability. You want to have financial stability and abundance as well. You also want to have that depth and that intimacy in your connection, but I just don't feel like it's happening. For whatever reason, there isn't intimacy and there's not a lot of building. So I feel like you are seeking a higher power or you're, you know, you're, you're praying or you're doing your, you know, your moon rituals or your, you know, your, your, you know, ma proper manifestations, um, you know, your spiritual cleanses and all that stuff. It's just still not happening. So I feel, and I feel like it's because someone might be juggling with the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck just behind it, which will cause you to have to recover from a three of swords or heartbreak here. There's a completion of a cycle or the will of fortune starting to turn because it needs to. So you can't have this, even if it isn't with this person. So, yeah, I just feel like you want, you're, you're trying to, you're stepping into your own personal power, your own financial stability, and your own emotional wealth. Um, and also, you know, self-love and self-care. But for some reason, there's not, like, there's not the commitment. Ooh, one second. All those cars fell. Let's see what those are. Uh, I'm not going to take them, but I'll show them to you. We have the Nine of Cups here, the Five of Swords, the Full Card, the Two of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like you want to have your wish fulfillment, but it's just like, okay, how much more can I possibly do? Um, there might be a lot of conflicts or somebody wants to win at all costs. You're trying to take a leap of faith here, but also be very sensible about it at the same time. Um, you are making a very clear-cut decision because it needs to be done because this has become too much of a burden. So I'm not going to take them. Wait, make sure there's no other cards. But I told you what they were. So let's see. Why else is this ring here reverse? Yeah, four of wands reverse. Someone just isn't very committed. Someone doesn't really want it. Mm -mm. They don't make it. They don't make the relationship a priority. Doesn't feel like. Okay, show me the facts of life with the birds and bees. Yeah, requires stillness. There needs to be more intimacy. Someone hasn't cut ties from either somebody from the past or you haven't. Or someone hasn't cut ties with certain 
patterns of behaviors or activities that do or cheating. Let's see. Show me the facts of life, please. Yeah, Ten of Cups. So maybe you want to have a family, and then that will take action, right, to be able to have children. Um, also, okay, now someone actually could be married, you or them, or they could have a family dynamic. Someone could also be pregnant. Okay. But tens also denote, talks about the ending of a cycle. Um, there could be an ending of a funny, uh, of a family dynamic due to someone being married. And that's why you're not getting the commitment. Or that's why, um, or there's, there's a child here somewhere. Somewhere, someone might have a child that you don't know about. And this might bring an end to something. Or they're taking actions, but they're not cutting ties with a certain person or behavior. Um, we, then we have the Nine of Pentacles here. So, learning how to be good on your own also end up being very single. Because, you know, or this could even be going from singlehood to a family. But, there's a lot of communications. Also, there might be a little birdie that might come towards you to tell you that someone isn't single. Or you might choose to just end up being single because you're just not getting the stability or the um, make, make the relationship priority or the friendship or the connection that you're not getting return on your investment with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Why is um, stillness in reverse? What's this action? Why is this stillness in reverse? Yeah, Eight of Swords. You're trapped in your head about this, which is actually self-imposed mental prison. You're also ruminating about this a lot. I'll get to this one. Let's see, show me the stillness in reverse. Yeah, page of pentacles. You're going you're going after maybe a new job and you raise a promotion. You do want to have this connection. I just don't feel like it's 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 very little. It's like being breadcrumbed. Alright, show me cutting ties in reverse. Yeah, we need there are secrets here, but you also need really need to listen to your intuition. Someone here hasn't cut you might even see something online. Someone here hasn't cut ties with something. Maybe is that work? Um, show me cutting ties. Don't oh also don't cut um, stay connected to your intuition as well. Show me cutting ties reverse, please. There's secrets though. Queen of Wands. Okay, so these two cards here together like this denote another woman or another person. So it doesn't matter the gender, gender identity, um, sexual orientation or preference, okay? The, these two cards together. Well, even separately, they can den they can denote uh, another party, right? A third party, but them together, especially, there is a secret uh, other woman or other man. Now, this could be f on your end, Scorpio, or this could be on the crosswalkers' end. So, someone has not cut ties with a third party yet, and you know it. Anything else, please? Yeah, and there's a final judgment that's coming. A final decision is going to be made. Also, um, someone's getting a wake-up call about this. This could be you or this could be your person. Someone is learning the truth here about the secrets, and they'll be making a final decision. That's going to cause the other person to have a wake-up call. Um, the other person could also be a Pisces, but not necessarily. All right, why is the higher power here? What is the message for the higher power? Yeah, everything is fine in reverse. So not, everything isn't fine because this is what it looks like. Everything isn't fine. You're not fine. You're not doing, I mean, you're doing fine. Very stoic. But as far as in the relationship, it's not fine. Here in reverse here is a very, very painful, painful ending. And you need to recover from this. And maybe even seeking um, professional help or, you know, going towards, you know, more of your spiritual stuff. Because, again, someone is struggling. And I think this is what you're finding out. Okay. Anything else from the higher power? So it's like pretending normal because you have to. Let's see. Show me. Yeah. Yeah. We have the we have the three of cups reversed. There's a lot of gossip, um, pettiness, but there's the third party here, and you know it. You might be even getting spiritual downloads or psychic downloads that um, someone has a third party and they could even be giving money to them, and you know this. So, someone is given, you know, the D to someone else. 
making, trying to, you know, make, I almost said making bacon. Um, let's see. Show me this could be good. Mars is here. Show me this could be good. Eight of pentacles. Also, they could be doing this at work. Show me this could be good. Yeah, and being very, very stubborn about seeing things from a different point of view. You could also be very over it. You're like, you know what? Whatever you're doing, I don't even want to know. I don't even care because I'm over it. At this point, or someone someone is. Or someone just isn't getting the point. And this is why the wake-up call is coming. Because someone is doing something, and you know it. I feel like you know it. You may not be able to prove it, but you know it. You feel it. Anything else about this could be good. The tower comes in to reveal it. Sudden realization and upheaval because it needs to be revealed. The lovers, there's more than one here. There's more than one. Yeah. King of Wands here has more than one. Or you do. And there's an ending or things come in full circles about that. You very well could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, and you're dropping the burden, it feels like. So let's see. I will clarify some of these cards um, as well. So, fork in the road in reverse. So, someone here is making a very clear-cut decision, and it will be like a twist of fate. It's going to be an unforeseen, quick decision, sudden upheaval, sudden enlightenment, sudden realization, or revelation, and it will do a twist of fate. Show me the fork in the road in reverse. Yeah, queen of cups in reverse. Someone um, has been either very emotionally dependent or emotionally manipulative. Someone, either you or someone you're dealing with, um, cross-watcher, or the third party has been very emotionally manipulative and causing someone to, um, it could have been, again, they could have had somebody at work, um, this is Cancer and Pisces, but strong Pisces here, um, that they were being manipulated by, not that they were a victim by any means, or you. All right, anything else about the fork in the road in reverse? So someone is uh, making the decision. Yeah, about the past, Six of Cups. Having a lot of nostalgia about the past or someone might also um, manipulate talking about the past or want to um, either bring up the past or somebody here ha is like, oh, okay, somebody from the workplace might be manipulating your person or cross-watcher your Scorpio um, saying, I will reveal the truth about the past. Anything else about the screen of, or the fork in the road? Anything else about this fork in the road, please? Yeah, and they're trying to hold on to this person for dear life. With the moon card, it's hidden, though. There's a lot of secrets here, and there's a lot of illusions. Someone's holding on to secrets and illusions. Also, someone's holding on for dear life to a, a Pisces. Um, they could have Pisces in their sun or moon. They could also have an earth sign in their sun or moon. Also, someone is being very manipulative as well. And there's going to be a twist of fate about this, though. Show me the twist of fate. Why is this here for Scorpios? Show me the twist of fate. Why is this here? Okay. Okay, Knight of Cups. So, someone here um, has a silver tongue or gives a lot of affection, but gives it to everybody. And this is what's hidden. Someone is holding on to secrets or a Pisces. Yeah, I can't make this up. Page of Cups. Someone is giving love and affection to a Pisces or a Cancer and possibly even money. And this is a secret. And they're holding on to this person as an option. So pop the cork in reverse. So there's not going to be a lot of celebration about this. Obviously, when this comes to light. Why is pop the cork here in reverse? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. So this is going to be a slow moving thing that's going to come into place um, that you're going to either know about. Again, someone could have a Taurus moon and a Pisces sun or vice versa. Anything else about pop a cork in reverse? Yeah, a knight of wands reverse. Someone here is playing somebody. Someone is very much a player, sexually impulsive, in and out energy, not very committal, doesn't make the relationship priority, doesn't even focus on the finances properly, no follow through. A lot of pro uh, procrastination, stagnancy, um, wants to come in, love you for a little bit, and then leave. Um, always just in and out, in and out. And I think you, Scorpio, and or Crosswatcher, are over it. Because there is a very, very painful ending. Ten of Swords now. That's coming. Ending it. 
<clears throat> so, <clears throat> so someone feels like if they can just hold on to this person or you or this third party, then that it won't cause a separation and that they're lucky, but it's not okay. It's like somebody doesn't want to lose you, but they don't want to do anything to keep you. They don't want to make the relationship priority in order to keep you with them. You know, not that they have to jump through, through hoops, but there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of, I don't feel a lot of intimacy or connectedness between you and this person. I also feel like somebody here, or there could be, again, a Pisces and a sun or moon or a Taurus moon or sun that, again, Pisces, that wants the split up, break up divorce so they can take your spot, move in on your spot with a Leo and have that their wish fulfillment with a Leo. Um, it's like somebody here wants to have their cake and eat it too, big time. Either you or your person. It's not going to work like that. All right, show me separation reverse. Yeah, someone is overly defensive for no reason. The reason why they're overly defensive is because they have a lot of secrets to hide. Yeah. They also don't have boundaries and they don't set plans. They don't um, They don't keep them either or keep their promises. They don't want to be left out in the cold and they're like really on the defense and offense about this because they want to keep their options open, but they also want to keep you on the line at the same time. Um, why is, okay, anything else about separation reverse? Yeah, nine of swords. So this could be you coming in, you know, someone's being defensive or what have you, but you're coming in to set the record straight with the truth, the harsh, brutal truth, but nevertheless, the truth. You're, it might be catching somebody and they won't be able to defend against it. Yeah. Because somebody's been lying. The Ace of Swords reverse. So you're picking up that sword and bringing in the truth here. Because someone's really been lying to you and lying to others. Um, the lovers. Someone's lying. They have more than one lover. They have more than one option. Show me the lovers, please. Yeah, Page of Swords. One of the lovers might be spying, stalking, hacking, and gossiping about you. And maybe they're actually seeing, or this could be you, seeing that your person's actually married or someone is spying in on your connection. But I don't feel, I feel like though, <clears throat> someone has another lover. All right, show me lucky then. Why is lucky here? The magician. Someone is trying to manifest luck that they don't get found out. It feels like that they can keep the game going. Anything else about lucky here? Or they might tell you that they're so lucky to have you, but I don't. They're not treating you right though. It's like it's like they don't want you to move on. They don't want you to leave. They don't. They don't want you to be with anyone else, but they don't want to do anything to make the relationship right. Okay. Anything else about lucky, please? Okay. Yeah, page of wands. They're coming from a very immature place. Um, not a lot of direction. <laughs> They're manifesting in a very immature way. Also, there could be some manipulation. All right, now we come full circle. Why is the ring again here in reverse? Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, somebody here is being very. Once all of this transpires, this could very well be you as well, turning it, turning it very cold. And very distant and apathetic. Maybe a little cruel as well. So just be mindful about that. Because you're realizing the truth. You might be giving a ring back or something. Anything else about the ring reverse? Yeah. Bingo. Ace of Wands. Because someone else has been giving to someone else more passion. Or they could be giving um, giving passion and love and romance and, and direction and, and sex to, to an air sign possibly. But not necessarily. Yeah, someone has been lying about a new romance here. Show me the Ace of Wands, please. And they're also giving money to this person. Anything else, please? Or 
anything else. Or if you move, cut this all the way out. I know you might be cold or whatever, but you might cut this all the way out. And then that's when you get your new romance and abundance and happiness. Jolene V is the one. Please, why is this here? Yeah, three of pentacles. Someone actually might be giving to... Someone also might be an artist or... Someone might be saying that they're going to work or something like that for art or something. Um, with the three of pentacles here, but I think it's for the ace of wands. Yeah, hermit in reverse. Someone is not going within to gain personal truth and clarity. And bottom of the deck, we got the three of swords because they're cheating and lying. All right. Either with somebody at their job or somebody they previously worked with or while they're at work. Are there any additional messages to it? But you can have hope and faith and you can have your wishes contribute. It's going to take a lot of healing with the star here. Anything else, please? Additional messages? You will be happy. Things will come to light. You will have love as well. Once the heal once you once you have hope and faith and you really do the healing, you will have your wishes. Okay. Okay, anything else? And self-love. This also talks about self-love. Because you're going to be moving away from, moving on from chaos and onto calmer waters and releasing this burden. Or, you, or it will be hard to do this, to release this burden. Um, anything else for, for a potential outcome or additional messages? The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor because it's, yeah, needed, and there will be justice. Justice, karmic justice is on your side. Let, let, let the divine handle this for you, okay? But it looks like fate and the will of fortune and karma is on your side about this. Yours are the cross watchers. I kind of feel like it's yours, though, to be honest. So, signs you could be dealing with. Um, let's see. Or your person could be dealing with, or a cross watcher. Okay, so there's Leo here very strongly. There's um, Pisces very strongly. Taurus very strongly. Remember, this can be anywhere in the chart. Libra, um, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, uh, Virgo, Gemini. Another Scorpio. Yeah, Virgo. All right. So let me get you some guidance. Let's see. Spirit, so what messages do you have for my Scorpios regarding this reading? What messages do you have? Now, these cards are the Rebel uh, Oracle deck. So they're they're kind of harsh, but I know you guys can deal with it. You guys can, you guys can hang. What guidance do you have? Get some fucking sleep. You are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face to pillow now. So you might not be sleeping. Ask ask a fucking expert, which could be asking a higher power. Someone like an expert. Okay. And it says, don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Then you have whatever you are thinking about. Don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. Anything else, please, for guidance? Crosswatch of these could also be for you. Winning. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Okay. Anything else, please, for Scorpio? And then you have, fuck, shit, shit is about to get real. The revelations. And then it says, fuck, you need, you need your people around you. So there's going to be a sudden change because, you know, you know, ask an expert, you're trying to do something about it, um, you want to win, you don't want to ruin things or, or self-sabotage, but then it, it feels like the sudden realization comes in and you were right all along about what was going on. Okay, anything else for Scorpios, please? Then you have believe what you see. Face reality or live any fucking la la land. Choose bravely. Yeah. So you're going to see something. Or you're going to catch someone in 
in the act or you're going to see something or you have saw something that's going to be, um, well, gut wrenching. And then, cause you're, you're thinking, okay, I'm, I'm, things are getting better. We're working things out and then boom, tower comes or something's going to be revealed to you. Anything else? Anything else please for Scorpio? Yeah, it says some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. But also, too, it can go two ways. Believe what you see. Re repetitive pattern. But there's something that's coming in to shake things up. And I feel like even if things were to end with this particular situation, good things are going to come to you anyways. And it's, is it really a loss or is it actually a gain? If someone is doing all this shit show stuff, is it really a loss or a gain? All right. Yeah. Well, I hope this has helped you. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all that information will be in the description box below. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you know the next time I upload. And um, hope you enjoyed your reading. All right. Bye.